So I'm going to talk about movies that I like. I don't really know if this is like a recommendations video or me just rambling about movies that I like. So it might be a bit of both. I just wanted to complete the cycle. I've talked about TV and books. Yeah, movies. Movies. Twister is a disaster film. So if that's not something that you want to watch right now, I totally get it. But it is good. Like, really good. Like, I kind of thought it wasn't as good as I remembered it being because I probably watched it as like a five-year-old or really like my someone and someone was watching it and I peeked over their shoulder and saw like 99% of it. I have watched it quite a few times since then. It's about storm chasers and it has an actual plot and romance. It also seemed mildly scientifically accurate, though I'm nowhere near an expert so I would not know, but as a little kid it got me even more interested in natural disasters. I sound like a total creep as a child because I am. Was? I don't know. It's a good movie! <sighs> Stardust! More of a sci-fi fantasy. There's sword fighting and Michelle Pfeiffer. Magic. One beautiful costume. There's probably other costumes but I haven't seen it in a few years and that one cost- two costumes. Evane's costumes. I just- they were- they were good. And they were blue. I named a doll after her. Theory of Everything. The Theory of Everything. Eddie Redmayne and Felicity Jones? I saw them in the movie about the balloon recently. They were great in that too, but just- <laughs> I had already liked Eddie Redmayne's acting, and to see him in such a difficult role to play- I don't, I don't know where we're at as a society with actors playing things that they haven't experienced, but if they're good, they're good. And he was good. And she was good. And it was good. And ow. It's just a good movie and I want to watch it again. Also, we love some period costumes. I can't- yeah, I don't- It was set in Cambridge. It took you there. I haven't been there, so how would I know? But y y you're really with them in the moment. 1917. Now this is probably the biggest departure from everything else on the list. It's in like tone, plot, genre, but it's just so good. Just so good. So well done and just so good. I love the way that they did the sets because they actually built things and I- we've gotten to such a good place with C CGI that I just appreciate when they take the time and energy and resources. It's like I- and the acting and they're just I, so well done. I saw it in theaters, which I don't often see a movie in theaters, and I wanted to see the movie in theaters, and it lived up and outlived my expectations, though it might have actually been less intense to watch it on a computer. It also might be a little bit too emotional to watch now for some people, but if you're into historical, if you're into drama, high energy, thriller, action, but not like usual action, like, just, it's so well done and everyone should see it. <sighs> Across the Universe. I want to call it a feel-good movie, but it kind of isn't. I definitely saw this when I was way too young. It, it might be rated R. I don't know that it should be rated R. It's somewhere between PG-13 and R. I don't know. It seems like a good idea to expose people to experiences that they might fantasize about. Or there's a better word for that, but I don't remember it right now. Drugs, hallucinogen, I don't know whatever you want. It takes place in the 60s. What do you want from me? It's uh, a Beatles soundtrack, but the Beatles aren't in it. It's a whole cast of characters that you're seeing their emotional development and the plot evolves through the songs. And even like a crazy moment that happens in the middle that I didn't too much like, still so well done. And there's like a love story if you like that. I guess it's a musical too, but the singing is- helps move the plot. There's a word for that. Diegetic. Diegetic. Most of the songs in the show are diegetic because it's actually happening to them in any like crazily emotional moment or when their worldview changes. It's also all actually happening. Like they might in real life be singing. Sort of. There's like a little bit of a blurred line there, but like it feels like it's possible. Still, it just felt right. I don't know. <laughs> what am I talking about?
Four Scump. Four Scump is my next one. Four Scump is just another classic. Everyone should see it because it's a story that we could all learn something from and the acting is great. I just, it, it's another one that I watched when I was too young to watch it. But I assume you've seen Forrest Gump. If not, you should. Love story, but not exclusively a love story. Got all the, I'm finding most of the movies that I like kind of have a smattering of multiple genres and it's not just like one plot. Tom Hanks, he's a good actor. Damn good actor. Oh, I missed my main one. My all time favorite movie, another classic. Probably won't come as a shock. Always has been, and always will be, as it should be, Wizard of Oz. I'm wearing the shirt for it. Now, I used to be scared of the monkeys, but not anymore, and they're on my shirt, and it's good. It's a good movie. Everyone should see at least most of it. Acting is yeah, Judy Garland, the whole costumes, and it's, it's a good old-fashioned movie. I feel like I should have more to say about it because it's my favorite, but it kind of leaves me speechless. Also, I haven't watched it in a while. I should fix that. One of my favorite moments in it that most people know this little story, but if you don't, let me let you in on. I guess this is a spoiler? At the end of the movie, when Dorothy is saying goodbye to Scarecrow, she says, I'll miss you most of all, but that line was a leftover from old version of the script where Dorothy and the Scarecrow had a romantic plot, which they don't in this. That's why it feels out of place. I felt like everything was answered when I learned that because as a small child I had been a little bit confused why she would miss Scarecrow most of all, though I do like his character. Don't get me wrong. That's I guess my seven favorite movies of mine. If you need things to watch, but I do. Do you have similar favorites? What are your favorite movies?